Right, and so here we've got Pat Rayford opening his brand new guitar that's just well, arrived. Sec second hand. It's a second hand. Tell them about it, Pat. It's an Epiphone Emperor Joe Pass signature. Um, and it's got Seymour Duncan pickups on it, like the Armstrong pickups. I could get P90s put on those, which I probably will do. It's exactly the same replica, uh, except, except for the tailgate, which is nice. It's the exact same replica as uh, the Gibson Birdland, which I can't afford. <laughs> Gibson Birdland original. One day, Pat, one day. <laughs> one. It's probably worth about 12 to 15 grand. The Gibson Repro um, Birdland is probably about 6,000. Wow. Yeah, 6,000. The Epiphone Birdland um, is probably about 600 quid. But this is the Joe Pass Epiphone Broadway, which is basically the same. Thin body. Wow. And this has just nice arrived from it's just Scotland. Arrived. Joe Pass, and it's got a nice. Oh! Woo! It's got a good turn. He's just got it out the wrapping. Just unpacked it. First time he's ever played it. Nice. Nice. You're happy, Pat. Yeah. You could have do that. There's something broken, isn't it? You've got to fix or yeah, something. Yeah, it's just a switch that needs a bit of um, adjusting. I think I have to take that off and have a look. But oh, it's got a lovely uh, the Joe Pass signature. I don't have to have one. I can take that off, and you know, I can get a new Epiphone. But it's got a great, a great little, just right actually. The size is lovely. You're all happy with that. And it came with a spare key and a hard case. Yep. All the way from Scotland. Action is lovely, isn't it? Action is perfect, isn't it? Should we open that window behind you? We are in our 1966 classic. Cheltenham Waterbuck Caravan and uh it's got a really lovely, isn't it? Yeah, so <laughs> it's nice. Uh, I might get Pat Rayford for one instead of uh, Joe Pass. What are you gonna play for? You can it? get this you can get this um redone. Okay, what what's that? Get a new uh sign and right. have Pat Rayford there. These Seymour Duncans, I'll see how they are. They're supposed to be really good. Well, Seymour Duncan are brilliant anyway, but I, you know, to get them really authentic sound, I might just get P90s fitting on there. Mm. Your new tie. Yeah. It does the job. I like the head. The headstock's really lovely. Really nice, big, massive. Can you play headstock. string rag on it? String. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for jazz and stuff, you know. So what do you want it for, for jazz? <sighs> well, a bubble wrap and packing yeah. tape and well, all sorts. I might keep the bubble wrap for... Actually, I could keep it for when I take it abroad. Yeah, and so you'd rather take that abroad. It's better guitar to take abroad than your other one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it'll protect... The bubble wrap will protect it from... Oh. I'll, I'll actually, I'll put the bubble wrap back in. But you're all happy. Yeah, I'm just going to tie it. Tie it when I get home. Oh, 
And it's blonde. Yeah. You wanted a blonde one. Before. Ah, you like blondes. Well, no, I really like brunettes, really, but. <laughs> but a guitar is different if it's blonde. <laughs> Are you going to play for us? Try your guitar out. Do when you're El oh, do you want Elvis? Elvis, no. Yeah. Can't no. sing Elvis. I think you can. <laughs> Strings are lovely, isn't it? Ultra light. when we go away on the weekend now classic amount away, you and, and you and you me <laughs> you know you are <laughs> you take that one to the uh, Nebworth and then we go on the classic car weekend this is our caravan it's all a bit of a mess uh, as I said it's 1966 just had it all repainted it's uh, not tidy but it's still being worked on and uh, it's had a re repaint it's got I can't show you all of it because it's, it hasn't been cleaned or tidied because it is being worked on as we talk it's real wooden inside Playing, just messing about. Mm. What a good, what a good purchase. Not bad, is it for 200, 200 or quid? Mm. I like it when it's used. I mean, it doesn't look like it's used anyway. It looks really clean. Yeah. And there's no hardly any marks on it. Very good condition, isn't it? Wow. And it's just my size, it's just not it's not too big. I think the Broadway, I was thinking about getting the Epiphone Broadway. Mm. Broadway's a lot thicker, it's about an inch thicker, two an inch and a half thicker. Mm. You don't want it too thick because of the feedback, you know, because when it, it this kind of looks nice and compact like me, you know, smell. Oh, uh, and it'll be a good idea for travelling. Yeah. Because it's not so heavy or cumbersome when you're travelling abroad or travelling around. Okay, so you're a happy boy, Pat. Yeah. Ooh, okay, well, better sign off this video. <laughs> I can show outside our caravan quickly. Woo. I'm not going to show inside because it's not ready. Oops. This is what what has just been repainted. We're, we're in Wickford in Essex in this lovely caravan. Looks like brand new now. It's been painted. <coughs> it's very good condition inside anyway.
only a few little uh, things to sort out. So, um, goodbye from Ruthie in Essex. Bye bye. And goodbye from Pat. Bye.